well after the best part of a week in bed last week it was a bit of a shock last Friday when I got told by the doctor I was borderline pneumonia I felt ill last week I felt really ill thankfully I've been sent something uh, to review this week and something I'm really excited to share with you like as well because I think it looks like it's going to be a very very useful bit of kit and it's this the CC 8 inch brushless chainsaw now we might turn around and say wait a minute didn't about a year ago didn't you review a chainsaw I reviewed a 4 inch chainsaw the problem was it did have its limitations now I think this is going to be the solution because it is double the blade size it's got more power and I think this is going to be exactly what I'm looking for now it is important to say I got this sent by the company as mentioned before I do get offered quite a lot of stuff to review I'll always have a look at it and if I think it's good quality if I think it's good value I'll do a review no problem at all having said that if I don't think it's good quality if I don't think it's good value there's absolutely no way I'm going to review it I'm not interested I am interested in this store anyway it came last week and I was so ill I couldn't even open it up so what we're going to do there now we'll open it up we'll have a look what's inside before we, we put it through its paces first thing it comes in this absolutely fantastic really sturdy box so basically that's what we've got inside there well I'll just pick it out as I say it the very important instruction manual so I will have a read of that one good thing there now we've actually got a spare blade as well I'm, I'm sure blades run around about 20 quid so you've got a spare blade in there now which is really good you've got some gloves which I would suggest will be okay for protecting your hands from wood chip yeah from wood chip thrown back on your hands but obviously they're not proper chainsaw gloves so if you want them you're gonna have to get them separately and we've got a little adjustment as well but once you use a chain for a while you'll find the chain slackens a bit and it does need adjusting one thing I noticed straight away and I'm very very happy about not only have we got one 21 volt lion battery we've actually got two of them so that is good so with this you've got one working you've got one charging so that is absolutely fantastic really pleased with that a nice big powerful battery and all that will fit onto this beast oh yeah yeah i'm gonna love having to go with this so this is the eight inch cc brushless chainsaw the other thing i like there it's got a cover for the blade and you can check the tension there which is just about right there once you've used it for a while it will start to slacken off and what you got your tool for these two nuts there will be slackened and then you can turn this round there just to tighten to make any adjustments to the saw you want and then re-tighten up from there this here is where you put the oil and on the other side you can see there's a a level there so you can see how much oil you've got in there so I assume this is to prime it so every now and again you give that a couple of pumps of oil and get the oil flown around the chain uh, battery just slides on there if you don't want it to accidentally go off in your hand push that there and that locks that there so you can accidentally knock that on a very good safety feature there but either way this does need a bit more charge push that down and just pull it off right we've got some safety goggles as well whether the british standard or not i'm not sure to be honest one other thing i've noticed which i like is that and that should no, that's it there and that will screw in there now the smaller one I had didn't have this you don't have to use this if you don't want to you can use it two-handed 
The only problem with that is if you want to cut something, it has a tendency to sort of bounce a bit until it gets a cut. So for me, this is going to be really useful to improve stability. So when you go into a cut, you're going to get a nice clean cut. If I could look at something that would improve on, I would like to see a little wrist strap around there. For one of my trees, I'm going to be up a ladder. If something unfortunate happened, there's the potential for me to possibly drop this. And I would hate to drop it on somebody's head that's holding the ladder for us. So I would like to see a little wrist strap there. So if something like that happened and it dropped, it would just be hanging on the wrist strap. So every two years, I get that cut down. And it costs us about 140 quid for them to come in, cut it down, take all the rubbish away. I think I can do that myself with this. When I think of the money I paid out over the years getting that tree cut down, I could have saved myself an absolute fortune. To find out what your battery is like, press that there, it'll display green and red. And I think I've got three green and one red. So it's not 100% charged yet, but good enough for this demonstration. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll put a bit of oil in here. So I'm not going to overfill it. And it's around about half full there. So before you put the battery on, check the lock is on. So that safety button is on there now. Now you can put your battery on. Slides into place. Prime this by giving it a couple of presses. We'll take that off there now. And just run around a bit. I'm going to put that back on. I think what I'll do is I'll put this in as well and I'll start doing a bit of cutting and seeing what this is really like. This is the fun part. Now in the storms last year my old fence came down so me and my brother-in-law last year we built this fence so to cut back all these laurel trees. Now the old chainsaw I had the four inch one was perfect for that. But like I said before, it did have its limitations and there were certain branches I just couldn't get through with it. So again, this where the CC 8 inch chainsaw is going to do the business for me. This was the one here. This, this and this. And every time I go past there, I bang my back or my hip on there. So guess what's getting cut back today? Yeah, you guessed it. And I'm looking forward to it as well. So before I start, I'm going to be taking these off. Don't want anything catching anywhere. Uh, I'm going to keep these glasses on because these are proper prescription glasses. Uh, the ones that came, they feel quite flimsy. Better than nothing. So if you've got nothing, please wear them. But these are going to be uh, more secure. And plus the fact, I can see what I'm doing as well, which is also very important. Anyway, Let's do a bit of cutting. So our first cut is going to be down here. So take the safety off. And I'm using both of these together. This handle and that, it should give us a lot more stability. See the size of my fist? Now that went straight through there. I didn't have to put any pressure on at all. It was just the blade cutting that. So really happy and impressed with that. Do a bit more here. This makes a massive difference as regards stability. Without that, you're using it two-handed which is fine, but as soon as you go on there to cut, it starts bouncing. With that, it goes straight in. So let's have a go at getting this. Uh, 
and my nemesis, this one that keeps capturing me all the time. Now we've got to walk way around here. I didn't have to put any force on there at all. Absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon with that. I've said I've got a problem here. I've said I've got a problem there. They're the problem for me. This is the solution. And it's goes straight through. safety back on I mean look at that that is absolutely unreal really impressed really happy cannot wait to use it some more so a ladder up there I'll be able to get up there I think I'll also be able to climb up in the middle there and cut all the way around there and that chainsaw is going to do the job for me and save me an absolute fortune and on saving money as well I have got a discount code which I'll put down into the description. As mentioned before, I get absolutely nothing. For anybody that buys one of these, all it's doing is saving you money. So check out the discount code in the description, have a look and see what you think yourself. So if you've enjoyed the video, really would appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, more gear reviews, more climbing the Wayne rights, more festival reviews, more hotel reviews. Click on that subscribe button and you'll see all them things, I guarantee it. Hopefully, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.